Hey, good morning, y'all. It's 9 o'clock where I'm at uh, recording this on a beautiful Sunday morning. And you're watching the Eric Tech Stuff's YouTube channel. Uh, 277 subs do appreciate y'all. ton of views as well. I thank y'all. Wanted to go over some with these Bofang units. I had in a couple of comments in the uh, videos I had of these uh, prepper, video, uh, prepper radios. And these are the ones I have left. These are all uh, tri-band minus... I think of that one. Anyway, this is the um, radios that I have, and I will show you right now a nice printout copy of the firmware. I had a gentleman in the comments, Chris, told me, hey, why don't you press the buttons here and let me know what firmware and um, version of the software you have on here. So this is the UV5R3, both of the ones that I got here. Um, I have one here and uh, one right there that I'm going to actually clone today for you real quick with a new way to do it. Both of those are the same firmware before and after buying them. I have a F83, F8 plus 3. There's a ton of different weird model numbers here, but as you can tell, it has the same exact firm, firmware and model version numbers, so I'm not sure what really the difference is because they look identical. This is the F83, uh, well, minus, uh, it let me know that's a tri-band. So yeah, this one is good. And as you can tell, this is the original, or one of the new versions here. And uh, it has a different sticker on it, different layout. But uh, yeah, it does do the same coverage. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what that is. It's a cheap uh, layout versus uh, like a, a print-on. So you can actually rub that off, maybe put your own logo on that. But yeah, they, usually they come with stickers like that. So that's really a little bit updated version but uh, of this little grill. But uh, yeah, they look identical as far as I can tell as functionality. And of course, having the same firmware and everything. So we're going to go ahead and clone one today. And uh, I can show you also these other ones that I have real quick. Uh, the BF8. FHP. I bought that and it said what's well, coming up is a tri band, and uh, it's actually just a tri a dual band 8 watt version, though. But it has uh, that one of the bands they counted as a tri band was the FM radio receive option, which all of these have anyway. But the way it was worded, they got me shame on me one time, but never again. And these are the way you got to program the UV5R3 program as a BTEC UV5R3. X3 that'll allow you because it otherwise if you put as UV5R it doesn't have that tri-band option it won't uh, let you put any any of the 220 in uh, F8 3 F8 plus 3 will also program just identical to that that's the tri-band version there and the BF8 HP uh, yeah I'm sorry that is the dual band and uh, this is programmed uh, with F8 HP beta does work and that's the firmware and that's usually the ones I remember the UV 5 rs coming with firmware like that so it may be identical or close to it as far as functionality as the older ones but they all have the same voice and everything and the way we used to program them and I programmed the last ones this way this is the Bofang USB cable you use chirp hook it up to the computer get the driver installed this doesn't use the prolific driver it actually has a signed one so when you install it at least the ones I bought it actually says Bofang on it these ones have come with the right driver I think it's a silicon one I'm not sure but uh, don't quote me on that part of it I'll put it in the comments or something if I remember and uh, yeah this this is the way we used to do it through chirp and uh, you can also do front panel recording or programming rather um, but a lot of the public safety radios I use it's just easier to use the cable same with these if you're putting in all the alpha text and everything else like that very easy just to program uh, with the chirp however we're going to update it a little bit uh, my father let me know about another product out there and this is from TID radio it's the wireless programmer so basically this radio programmer uses software from your phone and you simulate everything with this little device here it comes uh, with a chargeable battery in it and a USB-C cable to program it or sorry to charge it so once you charge it and have everything charged up you can go ahead and use this and you want to download the app OD master works for iPhone and Android I'm gonna use it on my Android phone I've installed it on both of my devices before so what I'm gonna do is take this one and program to one of the stock ones I just got and uh, let's go ahead and just get this stuff out of the way we're going to go ahead and put that on top of the cable since we're actually just going to use OD Master software here. So we're going to simulate, and we can tell this is the one I programmed up before. That has all the uh, quiet 
startup, no beeps. You can turn all that off because when you get it, she loves to talk to you between the different VFOs there. So that's, that's the way you'll get it. Sometimes they come fully Chinese voice. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take it and clone from this one to this one with this TID radio device, the OD Master. Cool name for an app. So this will be pretty simple. Let me get a little closer just so we can get a good visual of everything in one swoop. I'll move these radios off the side, but yeah, you can program them just the same as cloning the different firmware and software like that. It's the pretty much same radio. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and take it to this one, to this one. Go ahead and use my phone real quick. We're going to turn this one on. I'm going to go ahead and turn this uh, power on there. Nice uh, button. Very simple, basic, easy, nice and rugged. I like it. So, we can go ahead and just uh, get a little closer. There we go. And uh, I do apologize, I'm doing this on the fly. And get this in view for anybody that still needs it. And uh, what we did is installed it on the phone here. So we have uh, through the Play Store, you can uh, get it. OD Master, I already have it installed. So let's go ahead and just uh, see right there. You'll see it, OD Master, as soon as you put it in, it's from TID Radio. And uh, we have this programmed in. So we're gonna connect to Bluetooth. Look at that. It automatically finds it. So yeah, that's a TID radio kit. We want to go ahead and allow that. And connection successful. And uh, yeah, we got this connected. And let's put this in the way there. And uh, now we can have a little bit better view. So we're going to end up having to clone this. And the other way you should do it, you should get a clone cable and you go back and forth, put it in clone mode. But we're going to go ahead and just do it the right way here. We're going to select the model and it's a UV5R3. So we're going to select it to B Tech, not Bovang. I know it's it's uh, it's a little uh, confusing. Where did they put the B Tech? Did I skip over it? I'm seeing it probably, or you're all seeing it. Where is B Tech? Hmm. Let's see. No, I'm sorry. Radio oddity. Why did I put B Tech? No, please, uh, please uh, don't have it as B Tech. It's radio oddity. Uh, so UV five R X three beta. I'm glad I did this video. Oh no! How did we do that? UV five R X three beta. Let's go. See, it's uh, live. Oh, no. Now, don't ask me. Sometimes it won't read the first time around. So, I'm gonna, uh, I just skipped it and I was trying to get it. And look at that. It's going through and just letting you know this stuff. How to do functions and all this. But you can turn this off after it just uh, does a read one time. Okay, yes, I... When this, yes, 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 tap, tap, tap. I'm, I've learned everything. No, turn that off, and I will never do it again. So, we're gonna go ahead and just pull this again. I'm gonna pull that radio again, just to show you. Don't know why. Just sometimes you have to do it a couple times. I mean, it's this new fangle technology, so it's never gonna work properly all the time, especially when I'm recording something. But it has no problem getting there. And look at that. You can do channel by channel, select your channels, channel one, channel two, let you know frequency, uh, let you know what you're doing, change the tag, blah, blah, blah. And you can save that. What I'd like to do is I want to go ahead and write it to this radio. So let's see if I can do this live. I'm going to turn this and we're going to go ahead and plug this in since this device is actually learned in to the actual phone and I just moved the device over let's see if we can write directly to this one do, 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 do. okay looks like we're getting data transfer so yeah this just uses Bluetooth through everything 
and uh, that's the software up there. But yes, Radio Oddity, Radio Oddity, not uh, B Tech, Radio Oddity. Update completed, boom. We'll go ahead and just uh, power this. Uh, we can just take that off. We don't need that anymore. We're done. And look at that. She's quiet. She's not saying anything to us. I like that. You can use your radio as you see fit. All the frequencies are in here uh, that I had on the other one. And uh, very, very easy and simple to program. So, yeah, get this, uh, get this adapter. It's the same cost usually as the uh, data cable. They've actually went up in price. It used to be about 10 bucks. But, yeah, TID Radio BL-1. Wirelessly program your radios on the go or camping. Say you're in a New Ham spot. You're driving around in an RV. Say you're somewhere else. You need to add a repeater to it. So, yeah, if you have these radios, uh, you can go ahead and look it up, copy, paste, and send it to your uh, new uh, new set of frequencies to your radio. So, just want to go ahead and give you these options available to you. Cool little option to use that. Or you can still use the cable. Just know which radio you're selecting and radio oddity for these two. And uh, Bofang HP Beta for that. And let's make sure... Um, you save everything if you have everything done you can save everything on your phone as well so that's pretty nice uh, confirm and let's go ahead and just save what do you want to save this as uh, RXTX list uh, let's just go prepper. prepper sometimes that comes up as pepper but uh, we confirmed it there we go save successfully so we go back so we have our lists and we have statuses. It has a whole bunch of other things you can do. I don't need all that stuff on my uh, communication, but uh, all I need to do is program. And uh, that's how you can do it. So I hope to help uh, a couple people out. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little option for using your uh, Bofang radios on the go for your uh, new ham needs or parks on the ham uh, parks on the air. All kind of cool stuff. A lot of, lot of fun. So you have a phone, go ahead and get one of these. This is always good as a backup cable. It's very small. You keep this in your uh, carry bag, and uh, you'd always have your phone on you. And you don't need uh, any other thing but Bluetooth, so you don't need to have a cell signal to be able to use this. So pretty cool stuff, and uh, you'll have it all set up. So I do appreciate each and every one of you that uh, stopped by to watch us today. hope you all have a great uh, start of your next week. And we'll see you in the next video, 73s.